As he said, I'm the president and CEO of the Fentanyl Solution Group and fentanylsolution.org based in Orange County. We've been working on this ballot proposition for what feels like a long time. I'm so happy to see the families here who deserve justice now leading this initiative, including Matt and Perla and all the rest that are here. Thank you. Uh, we're so happy to have you as part of the team. Because that's what it is going to take, a united front, all of us standing together to get rid of this scourge on our state, which is fentanyl. And we know that's what California voters want. We did a poll, and 88% of California voters said that they would vote for a ballot measure like the one we're about to file today. And I don't blame them. The new statistics show that 117 lives in California are lost each week to fentanyl, and the numbers keep going up. The fentanyl crisis is an epidemic that affects everyone. No one is exempt. Matter of fact, those who think this cannot happen to them or their families are the most vulnerable for it to happen to. Teens can get a fake pill that's lethal delivered to their homes in less than an hour, in less than the time it takes to order a pizza. One in five deaths of California youth ages 15 to 24 is caused by fentanyl. It is the number one killer of 18 to 45 year olds in the United States. More than cancer, more than car accidents, more than suicides, more than COVID. Senior citizens 65 and older have had the largest percentage increase of overdoses from fentanyl between 20, uh, 2020 and 2021. Fentanyl does not discriminate it doesn't discriminate among age, race, economic bracket. It affects everyone. It's a national epidemic that is destroying lives, families, and communities. In California, we are in a public health emergency, and we are working hard so that by next November,